Hello and welcome to DKR Sports. I'm Ruben Wright. This is Kyler Kautz. This is Billy Fry. We're here at the NFL Preview Show and we're here to just recap, you know, what's going to happen actually in, uh, you know, this Sunday. But we also have one game just to recap and inform you of, and that was last night's Thursday night game. Uh, the Cardinals beat uh, the 49ers 33-21. Uh, you know, a lot of people in the stands wanted Kaepernick, but Kaepernick did not come. Blaine Gabbert stayed in the entire time. I think that, you know, I think uh, Blaine Gabbert's getting a bit of bad rep right now. I think if you actually look at the whole game Gabbert played, he was able to keep the 49ers in it for at least a good half. And he ha it was really good rushing the ball as a QB. It's just that with the turnovers, he's got to minimize the turnovers. But honestly, I don't. there's too many problems going with the 49ers. I don't think just change a quarterback will resolve that. I disagree. I think Kaepernick de needs to start, and that needs to happen. Next week, Kaepernick's playing. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> well, Arizona is now 2-3, and three, and the 49ers fall to 1-4. and four. Uh, Both will play next Sunday. Um, so let's move on just to the first game, and that's the Patriots are going to the Browns. Tom Brady returns to the Patriots, and he's mad after they lose 3-1. They're, they're now 3-1 and one because last week losing to the Bills 16-0. to What do you guys think? What is Brady going to do? Oh, they're playing the Browns. Could you ever root for the Browns? I mean, and they're Patriots against Browns. Uh, Patriots. I think Brady comes back a bit rusty. <laughs> I don't think he's up to full form oh, no. yet. I think, I think... I think Bill Belichick gets beat out by the team he was the head coach for first, the Cleveland Browns. Isaiah Crowell, the, I believe he's second in rushing yards right now. He will run over that Patriots defense, okay. and he will lead them to a Browns victory. I just want to you know, cite no affiliation with this person, but uh, you know, Cleveland Browns enter 0-4. The Patriots enter 3-1. Uh, the Cleveland Browns really and the only thing holding them, the, you know, together is Terrell Pryor. He's become like an explosive and receiver. Isaiah Crowell. And Isaiah <clears throat> Crowell. Uh, but they have no quarterback in Cody Kessler. Is that going to be a problem? I, I I see. I think Cody Kessler's still developing. He's a very young quarterback. He's coming along. And I think he's going to get his first big game in here against a weak Patriots defense. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> we have to see. Okay. Uh, well, moving on, we have the Eagles at the Lions. Uh, Carson Wentz, the Eagles quarterback, has now become one of the prized possessions of last year's, or this past draft. Uh, the Browns passed over him, trading the pick to the Eagles, and now the Eagles go to face Matthew Stafford. Uh, what do you guys think about the Eagles' chances? I think the Eagles are going to 4-0. They need redemption from last year's game when Detroit destroyed them last year. Nice. So, Eagles 4-0. I think Philadelphia comes with their first loss of the season. Oh, I feel no. the result of this loss will be a high-scoring game, but it will be the result of a weak secondary. Uh, I, I feel Matthew Stafford, a star quarterback, very underrated here in the NFL, will tear that secondary apart with his wide receivers. Marvin Jones, he plays listed as questionable right now, but he also got studs in Golden Tate and Eric Ebron. So Philadelphia's defense, they don't, they don't stand a chance against Stafford? I feel Look at the Philadelphia has a high rate defense, but they have not played real competitive teams so far. All the, the teams. Steelers are the Steelers aren't Steelers. The Steelers are overrated. Mm -hmm. Heard okay. it here first. Steelers okay. overrated. Ben Rossberger, no good. Um, but uh, <laughs> moving on, the Bears go to the Colts. The Bears have had an atrocious start once again. Uh, the Colts also doing very bad. Uh, Andrew Luck sort of out of his luck. Uh, as as an interesting pun on words, but can Andrew Luck pick it up, and can the you know or will the Bears be able to come in and keep Andrew Luck up to his own luck? Oh, you go first, Billy. The Colts will come out two and three on this. The Bears are the epitome of a, a miserable team. Brian Hoyer, below average quarterback at best. Alshon Jeffries listed as questionable. Questions if Eddie Royal will even play. So they don't really got anything going in here. It's going to be Colts win within. <clears throat> Easy win coming out two and three. Okay. I agree. I think the Colts will uh, get the win. Uh, Andrew Luck said last week he's tired of almost winning, so I think he'll finally get the win. This will be a nice way to boost their team. Andrew Luck entered the season as a lot of people's you know, pre-MVP candidate, but so far he's had a disastrous season. Do you guys think... Do you think that's just because of you know the, the tough games they had, or do you think it was just him not playing up to his potential? Well, I honestly think Andrew Luck. We're talking about Andrew Luck. Right? Andrew Luck. Yeah. Andrew Luck has reached his potential. Mm -hmm. We, I think he's reached his peak the past couple of years, and he's descending down right now. He's a, he's was the only reason he's successful is a weak division mm -hmm. early in his career, and now the division's actually tough, and he's playing tougher defenses. It's a result now that he's playing poor, and it's going to be tough to see what he does in the future. Okay, I agree with that. 
Moving on, we have the Titans at the Dolphins. Marcus Mariota tries to make an impact for the Titans. Uh, Ryan Tannehill tries to, you know, bring the Dolphins back. Both teams enter one and three. Uh, what do you guys think about this? There's a hurricane going down in Florida right now, and I think <laughs> Miami uses that hurricane and rallies around it. This team's going to use a lot of heart in this game against Tennessee, and that's what's going to win this game. So what do you what do you think's happening to Tennessee right now? The twenty seventh pa- ranked passing offense, but they have the fourth ranked rushing offense. Is that just Mar- Marcus Mariota being like a lack of production or the style of offense? I think I think it's style of offense because the style of offense that Tennessee's trying to go with this season is more ground and pound like Rex used to run mm-hmm. up in New York when he was with them. He's got Demarco Murray at running back, who's one of the top fantasy backs right now. If you've been watching my fantasy show. And also, they got Derrick Henry out of, I believe, Alabama. Alabama. Mm-hmm. And he's another great back. And they just run it down everyone's throat and top it off. Marcus Mariota is a Russian QB. So that piles up the running stats. So, What do you think, Kyler, about the game? I have the Titans winning this this one with their, their running. running like I think the running will win the game for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Dolphins do enter the you know the team game with the 28th ranked defense, but they also have the 26th ranked offense. So it, it'll be an interesting game for both teams. Both teams in dire needs of a win to move on through the season. But co- upcoming uh, as well as the Redskins go to the Ravens. Uh, Kirk Cousins has finally tried to turn this you know Ravens team around. They enter two and two, but Joe Flacco three and one. Uh, is Baltimore its old self or no? I don't think they're their old self, but I still think they'll pull the win against Washington this week. Playing at home, I think they'll pull the win. This will be an interesting game because we got a high-ranked de- offense with the Redskins versus a high-ranked defense with the Ravens and a mm-hmm. low-ranked offense with the Ravens versus a low-ranked defense with the Redskins. So, But honestly, if I look at the teams with my unbiased opinion, just at the players, I think the Redskins come out with the win. I like a lot of the guys the Redskins have more than the Ravens, and I feel they're younger and more faster with running backs like Matt Jones, wide receivers like Jamison Crowder, and they got Pierre Garçon, and I think Kirk Cousins is a good young quarterback, and you got that stud tight end, Jordan Reed, and I just think that Ravens defense, although it's ranked number one, they're gonna they're a bit older, mm-hmm. so they're going to be slowing down as the season progresses more. Okay. Moving forward, Houston goes to Minnesota. Houston with Brock Osweiler has had some success, but they do not have J.J. Watt. The Vikings have found success with Sam Bradford. Uh, after Teddy Bridgewater got hurt, they traded for him, and so far it's done wonders for them, uh, You know, which is debatable if the defense is more of the actual part of the team. But the Vikings enter 4-0. Will the Vikings go to 5-0? I believe they will. I think Bradford will lead them to 5-0, and and that defense will help them do it. I think the Texans win this game because this is the first real good defense that the Vikings has faced up against. Really just been their powerhouse defense versus other teams that don't have a powerhouse defense. So this is really a game where it's an even match powerhouse defense versus powerhouse defense. I think the Texans just have more talent on the offensive side of the ball to take the game here. Okay. Well, moving forward, we have an in-house favorite, as you can see by the jersey. The Jets at the Steelers. Uh, the Jets... Go go down there to Pittsburgh, uh, but the the Steelers, you know, coming off from a a, a victory, um, and actually coming, you know, more of themselves. But the Jets coming as one and three, or Steelers as three and one. What do you guys have for an opinion on this game? You go first, Billy. I think the New York Jets come out with the mm-hmm. one. <laughs> this team's got a lot of heart. They're off, they're off to a rough start, but they got a lot of heart. They're going to come back and start here right in Pittsburgh against an overrated Steelers team. The last time the Jets played the Steelers was in 2014. The Jets won 20 to 13, and guess who was that quarterback then? Geno Smith. And Geno Smith is awful, okay? So that's why Ryan Fitzpatrick will lead the Jets to a win against Pittsburgh. See, uh, no matter what, I just can't go with the Jets. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's going to throw probably another like five picks or something. Steelers. Steelers got no secondary. Yeah, but the Jets have no quarterback. So do, do you guys think Fitzpatrick starts the game? or Fitzpatrick will start the game, but I think if we see a series of interceptions, don't be a surprise if we see Geno Smith or Christian Hackenberg enter. I'm hoping. Ooh. A lot of Jets fans calling for Fitzpatrick to, to ride the bench. We'll see what happens. But coming up, we have the record-setting Julio J- Jones of the Falcons and Matt Ryan uh, at the Broncos. Uh, the Broncos have a you know a great defense. Trevor Simeon, though, is apparently hurt and might not start. Uh, they might have to put Paxton Lynch in. But the Falcons, you know, they do come off from a record-setting performance, and they have a pretty decent offense, as we've seen. But does uh, Von Miller and the Broncos' defense, is that able to stop Matt Ryan? 
I think it will because the Julio Jones' success last game was susceptible was just because of that the new weaker Panthers secondary with Josh Norman gone. Mm-hmm. So I think that the Broncos will take this win. Falcons will be three and two. Broncos five and zero. Oh. And I just think it's a result of them playing finally tougher defense. I think the Broncos fall to 4-1. and one. I think the Falcons' offense is one of the top in the league right now. Mm-hmm. I think Matt Ryan is underrated. and Yep. So I think they get the win. Falcons do enter the game uh, the first in offense, uh, offensive yards and well, as well as passing yards and sixth in rushing. Their defense is a little suspect at 30th, but they're a very high-powered offensive team. Uh, uh, coming up next, we have the Bell- uh, Bengals at the Cowboys. Dak Prescott tries to continue to impress to keep his job at the Cowboys. Uh, but Andy Dalton of the Bengals tries to look for a win. Who do you guys got going for this game? I think the Bengals run away with it. I think this, the result is going to be experience. I feel the Bengals are a more veteran team right now mm-hmm. with guys like Gio Bernarda and Jeremy Hill at running back, and you got A.J. Green and Andy Dalton. And really this Cowboys team right now is being powered by rookies, mm-hmm. Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott. And I think they're in for a rude awakening this weekend against Cincinnati. So. I think this is going to be a game down to the wire. It's going to be going overtime, and I think the Bengals are going to get the win, especially with Cowboys kicker possibly not playing. Mm-hmm. So I think the Bengals get the win. will be an interesting situation. It is at a and Stadium uh, down there in Dallas. Uh, but moving forward, um, the Bills play at the Rams. The Bills come off of that you know, dev- you know, great victory, I guess, against the Patriots, 16-0. to um, but the Rams also entered as a surprising team. Uh, Case Keenum's led them to a 3-1 and one record. Um, and they've looked pretty surprising. So what do you guys think? What's going to happen in this game? The Bills have shocked me. They started out 0-2, and, and then the last two weeks, they're a like, rebirth. They're in a brand-new team. Their defense is destroying. I think the Bills come up with the win this week. I think Bills come out with the win, but that's just because the Rams suck and the Rams are overrated right now. The Rams have got nobody. Todd Gurley isn't even playing that well. The only reason they've won is because all the teams they played had shitty games. So we're going to see Bills come out with the win. Tyrod Taylor's going to have a monster game. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be a lot of rushing yards from LeSean McCoy. Watch it out. It's going to be yeah. an offense game, not defense game, though. Yeah, the interesting thing for the Rams entering in is they are, you know, ranked pre- in their statistical rankings in offense, they're 32nd, defense, they're th- 24th, passing, they're 30th, and rushing, they're 30th. So it's a surprising thing that they do enter 3-1. and one. Um, But the Bills, on the other hand, they have a very good rushing attack, ranked 7th. LaShawn McFly did he has an injury, but he does plan to play no matter what. So it'll be an interesting thing for both teams. Uh, but coming up next, we have the Chargers at the Raiders, you know, sort of the California rivalry. The San Diego Chargers enter 1-3, and three, and they've had an eh, okay season, but Joey Bosa here does make his uh, first debut after four games out with a hamstring injury. Oakland, the surprising team, of course, with their young players and Derek Carr, Amari Cooper, and Michael Crabtree is looking very good as well. What do you guys think is going to happen in this game? I think the Raiders run away with the win. I think the Raiders are the better team here. Surprised the Raiders' defense is ranked 32nd, though. Mm-hmm. However, this Raiders team has beaten, swept the, uh, they swept the Chargers last year. Mm-hmm. The Chargers' defense isn't all that great, and they're really an offensive team, and I think that's really going to struggle against a top three defense with the Raiders. An offense, I mean, with the Raiders right now. Mm-hmm. I also got the Raiders this week. No, that's about it. Yeah, Raiders are a great offensive team, as the stats have shown. Third offensively, eighth passing, and the fifth in rushing. But yes, as Billy said, their defense is 32nd in the league, and that is quite excruciating. Seeing how they actually have a pretty good defense on paper, they have a lot of youth uh, prospects. Um, But moving forward, the Giants play at the Packers, you know, one of these big quarterback games. You have Eli Manning versus Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Who do you guys think wins? I got... I got the Packers, and I think Odell's going to get benched this game. He's going to have another hissy fit, and they're going to bench him because they're going to realize that's the only option, and the Packers are going to win with their uh, star offense. I, I'm a little bit surprised that the Packers are in 29th in offense and 29th in passing. I find it a bit surprising to me with Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers as a quarterback. But in this game, I think Giants run with the win. I think the Giants pull the upset in this Sunday night game, and I think if they're going to experience rebirth, we're going to see the – Odell Beckham come back with a better attitude this week. Yeah, Odell Beckham did get fined uh, 24000 for attitude issues from the last game for unsportsmanlike conduct, they called it. Green Bay comes off from a bye week. Aaron Rodgers really has only had one good game, and that was two weeks ago. The other two, he had some you know, issues uh, with the offensive. But if they do come off a bye week, maybe they're prepared, and I guess we'll have to see. 
Um, but the final game is the Monday night game. The Buccaneers at the Panthers. The Panthers are rumored to not have Cam Newton. He's not expected to play. That means Derek Anderson comes in. He also came in at the end of the last game. But does Jameis Winston, you know, come have a bounce back victory this week, or does Derek Anderson somehow lead the Panthers to victory? I think it's a bounce back for the Bucs. I think the Bucs take away the win. I don't think Derek Anderson's capable of running this fast-paced uh, quarterback rush-oriented offense. I think that that it's just going to be an epitome of that, that Cam Newton's not playing. If Cam Newton was playing, this would be an easy Panthers win. But just because mm-hmm. he's out, it goes to the Bucks. Yeah, I agree with that. I have the Bucs only because Cam Newton's not playing this week. If he somehow happens to play, it might be a Panthers win. I'm not sure. It'll be an interesting game to see. Basically, Cam Newton is the key factor, I guess, what everyone has the assumption of. But that's been it for all the recap games. Uh, this has been the NFL re- or preview show, not recap, pre- NFL preview show. Um, catch us again on, on Tuesday, and you'll get all your recapping of the Monday night and Sunday night games, as well as there's other, some pro- other programs uh, on this weekend. But we will catch you later, and we will hopefully, uh, and you'll be able to enjoy you know, some more NFL talk. I've been Ruben Wright. This has been Kyler Kyle. This has been Billy Fry. We'll catch you later.